Kathy Holly and Spotlight. Hi, everybody. It's great to be here tonight on March 15th, the Ides of March. I have a wonderful show for you. I know there's something about Julius Caesar, right? Am I right? But in right. stand, right? You are right. And I'm interviewing two wonderful musicians tonight uh, who have their own music and then some. And over here on my right is Mr. Bud Owings. And on my left, Stan Eng. And I'm just going right into it here with Stan Eng. Please, let's welcome you to the show. I met you not too long ago at the Italian Before. American Social Club in San Francisco. Yes, that was it. And you were playing the guitar. And, or were you playing bass, bass that I night? I was playing bass then. Bass, and you play both yes. quite frequently. Yes. Well, tell me, Stan, uh, tell me how you got into music. By the way, I love your outfit. Ah, is you this know, you? you this you're vibrant. Is, uh, when I play, I like to get dressed up and... Uh, Seeing we were on TV, I said, "Okay, let it, me let me wear something that I play." In. It's a great, great outfit, and I know you do all kinds of music. But now, tell me how you started in music. Oh, gee, um, I think I threw away my guitar when the Beatles came out, and and we all stood around, and uh, they were, I guess, about seven of us teenagers with guitars, and uh, and they said, "Stan." We don't have anybody who plays bass. You play bass. <laughs> so right. I played bass. And, uh, and I did that and played the junior high school and senior high school dances, the Sweet Sixteen parties, and, uh, and had fun doing that. And came out to San Francisco to be in a rock band. And, uh, oh, good. And after eating at St. Anthony's and uh, eating crunchy beans and mushy rice, I decided I need a job. So. <laughs> Darn it. And so, and so uh, I ended up getting a job at Columbia Music, which was on Market Street, and uh, worked there for years. And, uh, and then uh, I went and uh, got my degree in electronics and uh, did electronics. And That's right. So. I, I, I know you have another what profession but yes. now you you were semi-retired in that aren't you i i am retired i just retired uh, last month congratulations yes. now so. you have all time in the world for music yes. but you've always played so when did you pick up the guitar again i uh, i ended up uh i had cancer six and a half years ago mm. and um, you're a survivor and so at that time i said i need to do something i want to do and um, when the doctor said I had cancer, I had two nights of nightmares. The third night, I went out and played music. That night, I had no nightmares. Oh, how the wonderful. fourth night, I went out and played with some other people, and I didn't have any nightmares that night. And I said, you know what? Music is my ticket, and yes. I'm going to play music, and I'm not going to have the nightmares. And I haven't had nightmares since. That's fantastic. And, uh, yeah. You know, this is perfect timing because we have a video clip of you playing Blackbird. That was right song. after uh, my, my uh, chemo and radiation and the surgery. And I said, you know, I've been playing music with all these great people, but I have nothing as far as recording or anything that I can send on to the next few generations so i said well this is let it let me record it all right let's take a listen and a look
Wow. I love it. You are wonderful. Yeah. Have you played at weddings? I've played weddings. Uh, I've done a lot of weddings. Um, done um, little dinner houses and stuff. I, I kind of feel like sometimes I'm taking over for the Nordstrom's uh, piano player. Oh, yeah, I know Nordstrom. <laughs> no more Nordstrom pianists. That's true. They <laughs> No more. That's unfortunate, but it's true. Is this the guitar you used for that? black? Ah, for, for, uh, yes, it is. It's This is a beautiful guitar. Yes. So when you started playing again, have you used the guitar, you think, a little more now? And do you play electric as well? I play acoustic guitar and electric bass. Is what I play. Oh, so you just you decide yeah. that you're yeah. going to stick to acoustic. Uh, yeah, um, I I want to bring myself to a certain level, and instead of uh, I I played keyboards in this one band for a year and a half, and uh, and I uh, used to play harmonica, and I'm like now let me concentrate on on these two. And well, you could pick up the harmonica still, right, and just play a little keyboard. You know, it's funny. But when I learned to play harmonica, it was mostly country and western. So I, yes. I'd play uh, Oh My Darling and uh, uh, Clementine and um, uh, Red River Valley and things like that. And people really don't play that on harmonica anymore. So. No, but that's good because you yeah. don't, I mean, you're different. Yeah. I always say in showbiz, you know, if you're different, use your different card okay. because we can always get, you know, everybody else that does, oh, I've heard someone do the harmonica on that song. So you have a lot of you know, wonderful opportunities here. And I, I just name one of the bands. I saw you with Ernest East mm -hmm. that night, who's a friend of mine. That's yes. how we met. Yes. But what is the name of your band? Stone Soup. Stone Soup. And you're going to be playing, uh, right? Playing over at the Pioneer on uh, April 1st. And that's in? In Woodside. Woodside. All right. right, for everybody out there. It's not that far away. Right. And is the a Pioneer is a restaurant, or is it just a club? It's I a, forget. Um, Bar. It's a saloon that was uh, built back in the early 1800s, and oh, it used wow. to be a horse stable and uh, probably a bordello or something else. But uh, what fun! Yeah. We all have to go and see this historic <laughs> place. I love old uh, places that have history. And uh, this, yeah. when you call it up online, they talk about ghosts that are in the basement. Oh, I think I have heard things, a little so. bit about this. Ah, oh, I have to come and see you. Yeah. Would you give us a sample of something you're going to play live today? Okay. You said you would, right? Yes. And uh, what is it going to be? I'm going to play a uh, girl from Ipanema. So. Wow, we know that. <laughs> I know that tune. <laughs> Great. All right, let me start. <laughs> Beautiful chords. Bravo, nice bravo. Yeah. Nicely yeah. done. Stan, that's just so great. Well, you're playing some nice chords there, bar chords, because I play some guitar, I play yeah. rhythm. Yeah. But you are playing some really interesting, beautiful chords. And on a nylon string. It yeah. just sounds wonderful. Oh, you know. Well, those are beautiful tunes. You know what? Thank I, you. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> no, well, uh, you know, I, I've been uh, lucky to have some really good teachers, you know. Uh, one of my. Yes latest uh, teachers on the nylon string, which goes back maybe 20 years ago, is Charles Ferguson. And, uh, is who? 
Charles Ferguson. Okay, now he, I, don't, I don't know him, but I'm sure uh, he's teaches at Stanford and oh. different places. He's, hey, well, you see, so you've you've also been taking some lessons. Amazing, mm. oh, you're great. Okay, this is so. Uh, let's take a look at one other little clip we have of your different style playing bass, and it's my mojo's working. Can we take a quick look at that? That would be fun. Fun, <laughs> great music. Is that with Stone Soup or is that another uh, band? No, that was with uh, that was just a jam with a bunch of guys that that just got together. It's so much fun. We yeah. all have to come down to the Legion. Oh, it's right. down here in uh, oh yeah, Half near Moon Bay. Bay. Yeah, on Sunday afternoons. Oh, There's another yeah. Stan who has Stan a, Stan Earnhardt. Yeah. Oh, Stan Earnhardt. Wonderful person. Okay, we're oh. on. You have to come oh. down there and sit in. I, it's I've great. been there. It's just that. Um, uh, if I'm playing a lot, I don't have time to go to these jams. Of course. It's, it's no, when, when I'm not playing a lot, right. then I can go to the well, jams. Well, we'll get you down. <laughs> All right, I've got it. Now, listen, Bud Owings, That's how me. are you? I'm doing fine. I'm fine <clears throat> to be here. I, you have been busy, too. We met each other yes. in the 80s. Uh -huh. And yeah, so yeah, we, right. <laughs> well, life before. has gone on before the 80s, of yeah. course. And we used to work together. We did. I sang and you played keyboard. That's right, with a couple of bands, with a yes. different bands, different yes. arrangements, uh, different uh, groups. You worked with me at Mulhern's. That's right. In the marina. That's that right. goes back to San Francisco days, everybody who lives in Pacifica. But it was a great place. We had a lot of fun doing that. And together. casuals, weddings and parties. And, and weddings and everything. Yeah. It was like five, you could work five, six nights a with week. With Randy uh, Johnson. Randy others. Johnson, yes. Yeah. Randy and many others. You're right. And drummers, Bob mm -hmm. Balansky. Bob and, Balansky. Oh, my gosh. I still am in touch with all those people. You are. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, you're busy. I'm busy. You also have another business. That's we, right. we could talk about that, too. But That's let's right. get to the music. When did you really start playing? Well, I, I've <laughs> always been a musician. I played drums in high school. And I actually played bass a little bit. You reminded me of bass. I played uh, Herb Alpert. We played Herb Alpert tunes. And I was oh, the only guy that could play Taste of Honey oh, on the bass. Yes. So I, I met I, Rick Marlowe. He composed it. Well, there you go. See, <laughs> I knew there was a connection Whoa. here. But anyway, that, uh, but then I just sort of evolved into a piano player, and eventually I called myself a piano player. Well, you mm. are, definitely. Yeah. And you still a are. A keyboard player. Yeah. Well, recently we reconnected because you were at Bistro at SF. At Bistro. I play at Bistro. Bistro SF. In San Francisco. The second, third, and fourth. Uh, that's right. One, two, is two, three. Second, third, and fourth Saturdays. Yeah. Uh, at the Bistro 24th and Castro. In and it's Seven. a perfect location. It's a, it's a restaurant. I just play noodle background um, kind of jazz piano. It's great. And, and, it's so uh, much fun. For the hamburgers. It's that a hamburger be, joint. Yeah, and that would be fun for <laughs> you oh. to come in. Yeah, yeah, just yeah thinking, I, I invite perfect. musicians uh, such as yourself. Yeah, because uh, it would be perfect, the combination. And, yeah, anybody you know. could play. And, and the, the owners yeah. love it. Yes, the, they the do. owners are great people, and they 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 would like a ten piece band to come in and make noise, you know. Well, of course, in those <laughs> days, you know, we we used to get paid all the time. Well, no, yeah. they vary now. <laughs> I get paid in hamburgers. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Boy, how far we've come! Mm, yeah. But now, so you started early in music, and yeah. I know you have something that. in recently, when we reconnected, you were telling me that you are now doing mixing of now tell us about that <laughs> MIDI, I told MIDI. Him, MIDI, MIDI, yeah. MIDI. I sit around my uh, my home studio uh, with my keyboards and computer and make MIDI music I out there everybody I hope you understand <laughs> what MIDI music is because I was asking but I said I have an idea it's odd it's it's composed music um uh, how can I describe it? MIDI to music is like word processing to writing Perfect. I and, uh, understand it perfectly. Yeah. In now. other words, I can enter data, which are notes, and then change everything as a, 
and, and stack it up, and I play everything, bass, and, and yes. I get a right. tune going, and I can change the sounds of everything. And um, Well, let's listen to one of your tunes, because yeah. you are a composer. They're going to play Bud's and, oh, Yes, let's play Bud's Bossa first. Words, I played the melody on the piano, but then I changed it to vibes. I love You'll it. You'll hear it. You'll okay, hear it. well, we're going to hear And you told me you do them backwards. Well, that's those are other tunes, not this one. Other tunes. Yeah. Okay, but this is Bud's Bossa. That's right. I know what happened. There was uh, a big mistake. That is not Bud Owens' photo. I have on my SoundCloud website where I yes. have all my tunes, SoundCloud with Bud's tunes or under my name, I have a little picture for each tune. That's a picture from another tune. Oh, but that's from another tune, but I love the picture. I thought maybe it was, um, you know, whatever. I wrote a country tune. In fact, you, you would love this tune. So and, this, that and, would um, be... That, that's my picture from the country tune. From the country uh, tune. Yeah, and is that, but that's not you. You just used a photo. Yeah, I download photos. From, I have about 25 tunes on my on my yeah, SoundCloud, well, everybody and everyone has a it. picture. And everyone <laughs> for, for the last tune, I think I had a tropical palm tree you know. well let's have fun and do <laughs> some other pictures i'll pose you know wear different costumes uh, do a 20 I could, so i could add any picture yeah uh, to, to so my, so you composed that what inspired right. you to, to write that it's a great little tune because uh, i like it and you just <laughs> sat down and did it one day yeah because we, uh, well, i had we had a band for quite a while called tropical nights uh where we played jazz kind of uh, latin jazz oh, and i did a lot great. of composing for that band um, when in was fact, that? oh, let's see, when was that? In the 80s somewhere. In, the in fact, 80s. Stephen okay. Herrick, my partner, now plays, he lives in Danville, and he's got a band called Jazz Horizons. Oh, A, nice. a big band, a big, like a 12 or 14 or something. Uh -huh. And he's an excellent musician, tenor, tenor and flute. He was my partner in Tropical Nights. And anyway, I wrote a lot of tunes at that time. And I decided when I got into MIDI, I want to just re-record them or, or record them, literally, yes. the way I always heard them, mostly as demos, oh, so I great. could show people, hey, this is what I think it should sound like. And okay. so it's a very personal thing because I, I'm, I, I play everything. But you do. I know you do. I would it's love it. So Real musicians played my tunes, but that mm. that means organizing and a lot of t a lot of time. Yeah, and you have another business. Which <laughs> I have we haven't business. talked about yet, but he's yeah. into construction. And I, I I'm a general contractor. You, so you I'm are very a general busy. Yeah. contractor, yeah. and that takes a lot of time. But yeah, I just have to right. say, musically, number one, I think you should have a CD with a great cover, and we don't Probably. have one. And I think yeah. I would like to help you inspire you tonight Next to show. have one. Yeah, invite me back. I'll yeah, I definitely think you should do that. And we're going to hear another. We're going to hear another clip well i call a sound a little sound bite yeah, well, this from, is a, from another tune that you wrote called generation generation it's and kind of it a begins funny, i wrote it we were my wife and i were in jenner oh so, jenner beach yeah so i, know, I called yes. i had to come up with a name but <laughs> generation x I, it was sort of clever well let's go ahead clever. and be clever tonight yeah. and listen to this generation this, this tune features um arpeggiating like sound
There we go. There I, go. You know, your music is wonderful. There you go. I think, oh, gosh, bud, can I be your representative, your agent? You, are, you're, it, These are great tunes, and you don't have a CD that says these are my tunes, so come on, we got to get with it. Yeah. And I know that... Well, let's talk about construction for just a minute. Your 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 business, rather your general well, I'm a contractor. General contractor. I, right All now, right. I'm re, I'm doing a room addition for these friends of mine. Who's a musician? He, he needed a room so he could play piano and not drive his wife crazy. Would I ever? <laughs> but, do I know him? I, I don't think so. Him. I mentioned your name to him, uh, Stephen Herrick. Steve Her oh, Stephen. Oh. Yes. Steve, Steve Shapiro. Shapiro, the name sounds familiar. Um, he was musical director at the Community Music Center in San Francisco for oh, years. Oh, all right. That's where maybe I heard him. Yeah, that. he was musical. Now he sits, he's retired. And now he sits around and plays piano all day long. Well, Literally, I mean, uh, classical piano. And, and he needs a room to do that. Yeah, and so you do things like this, which is great. Yeah, which is very involved because there's a bathroom and a kitchen. But, and, uh, but you know what else? <laughs> I have two wonderful hutches that you built for me. Uh, Beautiful right. hutches. Um, not hutches. What are they called? Um, well, you yes, know, they're um, like wardrobe closets, but they're not because I put my TV in it and everything. Uh, well, we, um, we'll think of the right word, but everybody knows it's. A, there are two of them in the living room that I have, and you built these. He's a I carpenter did. by trade, yeah, just like my grandfather. Long time ago. You know. yeah. and Somebody we, else painted them, though, I must yes, point out. The Whoever artist. painted them made them look beautiful. Well, they, they yeah. do look beautiful. Yeah. Clark, he was fabulous. But there you go. the other thing is you collect trains. I'll never <laughs> oh, forget true. going to your house for a rehearsal, <laughs> and I'd see all of his trains, mm -hmm. and the track would be set up. What yeah. fun. That's a hobby. Right? Trains. Yeah, 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 that's right. The trains have been put away for a while. Oh, no, I miss those trains. <laughs> yeah, because oh, I had to restore gosh. the living room. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I've always liked trains. And so I've, I've been a model railroader, you know, for, yeah, forever. Yeah, one of the many <laughs> talents that you, gosh, I'll tell you, between the two of you, mm. I think, you know, multi talented yes. here. So the, the trains, building, and the music. Let's listen mm. to the other. Now, this is with your daughter. Yeah, who is now 24. Oh, I, this I was, met her when she was a baby. My daughter babysat. That's right. And now yeah, my daughter's right. 37. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, well. I guess we can put those ages somehow. But, somehow. Um, Kendall. Yeah, she, this was when she was 17. She had to get um, the, this, this amazing braces thing in her mouth to straighten out her teeth, which uh, was successful. Yes. But, you know, and she was very self-conscious about it. Of and course. I, was, I wrote a tune. I think, oh, you have a beautiful smile. That's that was what, charming. You and, did this. And, and Seven, so this it's called tune the smile sort of mix. evolved from that, and uh, it's called Smile. And it features not only Kendall, um, her friend who is a year older, who lives just up the street, as Marcelo, who's still around um, oh, San Francisco. Great. And and um, well, let's yeah, hear it. and I recorded it in our living room, and I had to pay them. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh, I love it. Oh, that is so charming. It's a, it's a, and Kendall is singing mm. harmony. Well, the or both. Or, yeah, they They're trade both. off. The, it's this interway, interwoven melody. It's I don't charming. know. You're a, you're a solid musician. Did you recognize the tune it's based on? Uh, uh, well, oh, I'm wait gonna, a minute. I'm wait gonna, a minute. Now, I get, smile, though you're... No, no, no. no. Um, Not the words. The, it's the chord yeah. pattern. Oh, the chord pattern. Anyway, I'll... I'll, I'll I kind of... I, could hear it. You probably can. I'm sure you need. But it's making whoopee. Making whoopee backwards. <laughs> no, well, <laughs> no, forwards. No, the backwards <laughs> tunes are a whole different world. I, know, I have one tune a... that's a backwards tune. If you, if the guy can play it. I don't. I don't know if we don't have know if it ready. I, I write tunes. I, I like famous tunes, and I just turn the melody upside down. 
It's so, just a complete I know. musical it indulgence. Changes it. Yeah, it, it changes it. It changes it. It's fun for me, you know. Well, <laughs> it's fun for us to listen to. that. So yeah. that's another show then. Yeah, you got to bring so. your maybe album so. with all the backward tunes yeah, on it and everything. Upside down. Upside, upside down. down. Okay, <laughs> upside down, inside out. Yeah, because I do a lot of, um, you know, whoopies. I sing that a lot that's yeah it. but she, Kendall is great yeah yeah she's, she's a wonderful singer uh, right, right now she works in New York New York City she lives in New York City she wants to leave but she works for the New York City Ballet and she pl- she's a stitcher she makes costumes for oh, the ballet which sounds exotic and wonderful and it's a quite a grind oh no that would be a grind it's a grind and, New York and it's a grind just to get there uh, Brooklyn all the way to Lincoln Center on the other side of Manhattan and uh, yeah. they're kind of burnt oh. out and she's married to a guy named Kendall <laughs> oh uh, that's right you told me two Kendalls yeah two Kendalls <laughs> can't and believe they're, it they really want to blow out of New York so, of course um, and especially moment, they, right yeah. now with the weather and, and I wish she would sing I, that brings it back to music she's a yes. wonderful singer and she doesn't sing well she can mm-hmm. too when yeah. you know when she comes back you're going right. to be sure that's she right. does i want to thank both of you tonight for being on the show that's number one and um you're playing next at the pioneer yes and that's april 1st yes um uh, actually april, and that's not a joke uh, it's yes. april fool's day but it's not a joke okay. and and uh bud will be playing bistro bistro uh, it's called on bistro in san Bistro in SF, SF. Castro and um, 24th. 24th. It's actually just Bistro SF. I Maybe looked it up it. so many yeah. times, and yeah. I kept, you know, thinking the same yeah. thing. But it's wonderful. The second, the third, and fourth yeah. Saturday. Yeah. So food, yeah. yeah, food and a little bar. Six Noe thirty Valley. to eight thirty. Noe Valley. Oh Noe no, Valley. yeah, Noe Valley. Yeah. Six yes. thirty to eight thirty, That's and your gig starts uh, at nine o'clock. And what were you going to say? That isn't you are playing. Uh, yes, I'm also Stone playing um, uh, at a couple of retirement parties before then over in Redwood City on oh, 159 wonderful. Elm Street. Good. And then also at the quarter note uh, for uh, Alvin Draper's 75th birthday. All right. So you're so. getting around, Stan. And so out there in television land, we are all guns for hire, as we say. I mean, we are available. I'm available. And Stan is available. Can you play us out with and, a little something? Kathy is Bud wonderful. is available. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Stan. And I'm looking forward to hearing both of you again. So play us out with a little tune. 